There's really four types of stress that are sabotaging people's weight loss results. Everybody's trying to lose weight and we think that just cutting calories is going to do it, but we don't understand these four types of stress that are making it so hard for us to lose weight. The first one is blood sugar imbalances. Blood sugar swings cause stress to our cells, which then leads to things like insulin resistance, inflammation, we're getting belly fat, our liver starts to store fat, and this all tanks our mood, our energy levels, makes us more irritable, we get crashes in the day, which all make us wanna eat more to feel better, which then perpetuates the cycle. The second one is inflammation. So chronic inflammation is really problematic. It leads to things like increased cortisol, which then produces more inflammation, causes blood sugar imbalances, and then that leads to things like insulin resistance, also impact, impacts things like your gut health, your cellular health, your energy levels, immune health, thyroid, slow metabolism, all sorts of things. It's can impact major parts of your health. The third types of stress is sleep issues. So whether it's not enough sleep or poor quality sleep, it's a huge problem that most people deal with because of our really fast paced lives. Now, poor sleep can literally wreak havoc on most systems in our body, making things like hormones and cortisol and gut health and insulin problems all out of balance, which then contributes to weight gain. And again, none of that has to do with the amount of calories you're eating. Now the fourth one that again, doesn't have anything to do with the calories that you're eating and more so with the kind of calories you're actually eating is toxins. Toxic exposure happens from your food, plastics, packages, soaps, cleaners, water, air quality, and all sorts of stuff. Now toxins induce insulin resistance. They disrupt the little mitochondria function in your body. It promotes inflammation, alters thyroid metabolism, impairs your appetite regulation. So you want to eat more. I mean, there's a lot of huge impact from toxins that again, has nothing to do with the amount of food you're eating, but more so the kinds of foods and other toxic exposure that we might have.